when I first saw the previews, I knew I, I'm going to be going to the movie theater to see this, and who knew that I'd be going to the Chinese, Chinese theater, theater to watch it with Max, and I'm excited to see it. I am so excited to see the movie. I love Nicholas Sparks movies. Notebook is one of my favorites. They surrounded us with uh, special forces guys and with a couple actors, a few actors, sorry, it was like four actors uh, intermingled within us all, but you know, I, I don't know. I mean, you can all, all you can do is try to wear the wear the clothes right. You know, I'm never going to know what it's like to be a soldier yeah. and just try to listen to them and not screw up. <laughs> They're just like, don't make me look stupid. And you're okay. like, okay. All right. Um, if you were in this situation, what you would you do? If you had a man go to the military? Because there's a lot of women out there going through it right I couldn't now. do it. I couldn't you couldn't? Do it. Unless I had kids, I couldn't do it. All right. I can't. Who doesn't like romance? I mean, I'm a girl. I'd be crazy. I'm born on Valentine's Day, so I'd be crazy to not like romance, right? Yes, I am. I'm a girl. Come on now. You, any boyfriend you have, you have to take them off to go see the girl flicks. The Notebook, I'd have to say, yeah. It's a beautiful story. My great-grandmother actually passed away uh, about a year ago from Alzheimer's. So it's just, I think, a beautifully depicted story, you know, kind of puts light to that, that disease. I haven't read this one yet, though. I'm planning on it. I wanted to see the movie first because I didn't want to know the ending. I know I'm going to be bawling, though. <laughs> There's some pretty good performances, pretty, meh, I'm kidding. Pink. Amazing, that was so, so awesome. Lady Gaga was awesome. Um, and I and remain Beyonce. a loyal fan of Beyonce. Beyonce and um, killed it. I, lo I love Taylor Beyonce. Swift, Pink was great. Pink was awesome. I just moved to a new apartment and I don't have cable yet. So I couldn't watch it and I was like sitting at home cooking dinner for myself in my apartment with no cable. But I did look up pictures of people online this morning because I wanted to see. And I think that Jennifer Nettles, I believe is her name, from Sugarland, was stunningly gorgeous on the red carpet. I think she was wearing a Victoria Beckham dress. She's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, red with little black. I liked Beyonce's dress a lot. I really loved Taylor Swift's dress. That was really nice. It was gorgeous. I feel like the Grammys this year were really like inspiring for women. There were like many, a lot of really yeah. great women recording artists who just really killed it and they're like vocally and just their performances were great. Like Amanda's um, maybe one of the most talented and, and just kind of youthful actors I've ever worked with. She's, you know, she's a clown. She likes to play around and, and uh, that was sort of my favorite thing about doing the movie. We would be over there, I don't know, throwing sand at each other and, and then they would just yell action and we would just get to just be ourselves, you know. We, we got to play a lot, you know, and Lhasa lets us play and, you know, you really just freed it up for us just to, you know, not, not take it serious. So there's something about sitting on a beach with somebody and really having to open up and be yourself and not, and not, uh, and not, um, you know, not be afraid to just, I don't know, put yourself out there and, and be afraid of what everybody's going to think. Awesome. He's amazing. My mom is sitting at home right now, like, waiting for my text to tell her the movie. And she's been like, you are so freaking jealous. I'm so freaking jealous of you that you're going to yeah. this.